What's going on, everybody? My brothers and sisters, Steel Sermon. Late Monday night, another video. Well, here I am. Here I am. What, what do you want me to do? You want me to yell? You want me to scream? You want me to go berserk? You want me to lose my mind? Like, like you guys like to see me do? Well, if you're here for that, I'm sorry to disappoint. It's not going to happen in this video. You want to know why? Because this Pens team does not deserve my emotion. They do not deserve my rants. They do not deserve anything from me. Okay? They've played 70 games. 12 games remain in the regular season. And all I can say at this point is Florida Panthers, congratulations. Congratulations, Florida Panthers. You did your job. You won the games. You got the points that you needed to get late in the season because the Pens can't stop being their own worst enemy and they can't stop being this inconsistent trash that they've been all season. And I do mean all season. This team has no freaking identity whatsoever. None. So, when is it not going to be too early? Huh? When is it not going to be early? It is March 21st. It's the first official day of spring. The AKA, the playoffs are less than a month away now. This is when contending teams play their best hockey. And historically, Mike Sullivan, his best winning percentage has come in the month of March. Not this year. It's funny how things change in a week. Because this time last week, I was sitting down here and I was saying, wow, the Pens are 7-1-1 one, one in the last nine games. We're coming off a weekend sweep against the Flyers and a really good New York Rangers team. We're 7-1-1. One, one. We're getting points. We're back as this, the first wild card in the East. I even said the Pens turned turn their season around. They fooled me. The Pens fooled me. They fooled me, okay? They tricked me. They got me believing that they figured it out, that they turned their season around, that they're picking up momentum, and that they are going to be a tough team to beat in the playoffs. With the forechecking, with the consistent scoring, the defense was starting to improve a little bit more. They were capitalizing on power play opportunities. They were playing like a good team. They were playing like a team that was making a run for the playoffs. They fooled me. I don't like being fooled. I don't like being fooled by my teams. I don't like being fooled in real life. The Pens fooled me. They got me. They got me good. Okay? And what they do right after that 7-1-1 one one stretch? Four straight losses. That, that is this season in a nutshell for the Pens. They get, they get on fire. They're scoring goals left and right. They come from behind and win. They find ways to win. They play tough defense. The forechecking is phenomenal. The third and fourth lines are playing great. And then they immediately follow that up with a lengthy losing streak where literally everything goes wrong. The exact opposite of the winning streak. That's what the pens are. You know, they, they're, they're a tease. They're a freaking cock tease is what this team is. You know, kind of like when, when you break up with that girlfriend or boyfriend that you've been with and they have a real crappy and nasty attitude and they're real toxic. So you finally dump them and then they come back to you going like, oh, I've changed. I'm a better person now. And you believe them. You give them a second chance. You start going out with them again. And for a while, things look good. And then they go right back to how they were. That's what the Penguins are like. Inconsistent trash. And it all starts with our clown-ass GM, who I do not claim as our freaking general manager. And as you can see in the thumbnail, it's pretty apparent that I have to put the words fire him in bright big red letters 
so that maybe Mario Lemieux can take his head from out of his you-know-where and fire this Philadelphia Flyer of our general manager. Yeah, that's right. He ain't a penguin. He's a freaking flyer because he has killed this franchise from the inside out just like he did over in Philly. Now he's doing it to us. Why Mario even hired this guy in the beginning is beyond me. You know? It's a disgrace what this clown has done to this franchise. And you know what? He got booed again. He got his name chanted again. And you know what? He deserves every single one of them boos. Ron Hextall, get out of here. You're not, you are not a penguin. You're just not. It's been your lifelong dream to kill this franchise and now you've done it. Get out of here, you sorry loser, you sorry motherfucker, you. And I apologize for uh, for cussing in this video. I got younger viewers on my channel and I'm starting to get family members on my channel now, so I try to keep my channel PG, but this guy's worth cussing about. Get the hell out of Pittsburgh, Ron. Tristan Jari, it's over. I'm done with Tristan Jari. This guy's complete and utter garbage. He's complete and utter trash. All you Tristan Jari fans, all, all you Tristan Jari fangirls, where are you at now? What do you got to say about Jari now? Remember how quick you were to run Matt Murray out of town because he had a bad series against Montreal? How quick you were to run him out of Pittsburgh? Have that same energy with Tristan Jari now. Ever since this guy has been the, the starting goalie for the team, the Pens have not won a playoff series. Say what you want about Matt Murray, okay? He was very inconsistent. But you know what? He played his balls off when it came to the playoffs for us. That guy had, had such a clutch gene in him when it came to the playoffs. Tristan Jari don't have that. He don't have the energy. He don't have the spirit. He don't have the heart of a champion. It's over, Jari. You're done. You, you can't block. You can't make these great saves anymore. And I'm not saying that Casey DeSmith is, you know, an upgrade over this guy. Because let's face it, we don't have a freaking goalie. That's something that we desperately need, okay? Ever since Marc-Andre left for Vegas... Our goalie situation's been a complete and utter mess. So it's not like we even have a good goalie. We have backups at best. Third stringers at best when it comes to goalies. Tristan Jari, it's over. You're done. Get out of here. I I've just absolutely had it. I, I don't know what else to say. We're 70 games in the season, and this team still can't find an identity for themselves. Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin, you know, screw Chris Letang. I'm done with that guy, too. I've been done with Chris Letang, okay? Him having a stroke doesn't change my mind about him, all right? Two strokes, for that matter. It don't change my mind about him. I mean, God bless him. You know, God bless the guy. I I'm glad he's doing better from that, but that hasn't changed my mind how I feel about him on the team, okay? Sid and Malkin deserve way better, way better of an ending than this. Do you realize... That out of the three Pittsburgh sports teams, that the average um, length of time that it's been for a playoff advancement between the, the Pirates, Steelers, and Penguins, the average time of a playoff advancement between the three, as of right now, is a little over six years. Last time the Pirates advanced in the playoffs, 2013. Last time the Steelers advanced in the playoffs, 2016. And uh, it's looking pretty good that it's going to remain since 2018 for the Pens. Six years. Six friggin' years. You know, I gave the Pens a pass for that Washington series because it was only a matter of time before the Capitals got one on us and they were due for a cup and they were due to beat us in the playoffs. You know, I can forgive that. And plus, we had just won back-to-back -back Cups. That takes a lot out of you, no matter who you are. I mean, winning one Stanley Cup takes an, a lot out of you. But to win back-to-back, -back, I can give the Pens a pass for that. 2019 against the Islanders, I mean, it was a terrible series, sure. But at least the Islanders were just the better team. We got swept by them. 
it would have been nice to beat them just one time, but I didn't expect the Pens to win that series. Again, I gave them a pass. But 2020, even though I don't count that as a playoff series for the Pens because it was a play-in series, so it should not count as a playoff series, that series was when I stopped making excuses for the Pens. A pathetic series against Montreal, who you still can't beat, by the way. You got swept in the season series against Montreal, a team that had lost seven straight games entering last Tuesday night against them, and you still can't beat Montreal for some reason. And now apparently you can't beat Ottawa. You lost to the frickin' Senators tonight, man. The Senators. At home. You should be absolutely frickin' embarrassed. The Senators. I mean, I understand the Rangers because they're they're a, they're a really good team over there in Madison Square Garden, but that was an absolutely pathetic performance of two days of two games in three days against the Rangers in Madison Square Garden. That was absolutely horrendous, especially Saturday night. I mean, geez, man, you're down six nothing after the second period. I mean, the Pens looked like a team that that didn't even belong in the NHL against the Rangers. You know, that was embarrassing that people who like watching hockey were subjected to watching that trash heap of a game. The only fans who enjoyed Saturday night's game at all, except for Rangers fans, if you're a Flyers fan, if you're a Capitals fan, any any fan of a team in the Metropolitan, like if you're a Flyers fan, if you're a Capitals fan, if you're a Blue Jackets fan, a Devils fan, an Isles fan, a Hurricanes fan, the only fans outside of Rangers fans who enjoyed that slaughter Saturday night were all the other fans of the teams in the Metro. I'm sorry that they put that game on national TV. I'm sorry that if you wanted to watch hockey on a Saturday night, you had nothing else to do on a Saturday night and you were tired from work or you came home from having a good time with your friends and you just wanted to watch hockey because you don't follow March Madness or something and you just want it, you, you're trying to get into hockey, you wanted to watch hockey and you had no other game to watch except for this one. I'm sorry that that's the game they put on for you. I'm sorry that you had to see that. You, you, you blew it, Pens. You just blew it. You're going to miss the playoffs for the second time since 2006. And yes, I'm going to say for the second time since 2006 because we did not make it in 2020. Like I said, that was a play-in series, not a playoff series. And I know, oh, um, only missing the playoffs twice in, six, in 17 years is incredible. But it's a gradual downturn from what this franchise is. It's not like they're missing the playoffs because the you know the other teams in the Eastern Conference are in a dogfight with them. They're missing the playoffs because they can't develop an identity. They have no clue who they are. You know, eight straight wins, four straight losses. Three straight wins, Five straight losses. Seven, one, and one. Four straight losses. You had a golden opportunity, Pittsburgh Penguins, a golden opportunity to maybe not so much leapfrog the Flyer or the uh, the Rangers in the in the division and in the playoff picture. Because let's face it, they've been better than you all season. But you had a really good chance to close the gap in on them. And you can only come away with two points against the Rangers in three games against them. Two points. A golden opportunity. 7-1-1. One, one. You're looking like you're, you're, you found your groove. And you completely freaking squander it by losing to the Rangers twice. And then the frickin' Canadiens and Senators. And you got 12 games left. You know? I'm sick and tired of Mike Sullivan, 
you know, standing at the press conference and going like, well, um, you know, we just need to get back out on the ice and morning skate and fit. Oh, I'm like, you know, shut up, Mike. Nobody wants to hear this anymore, Mike. Stop talking about it and actually do it. It doesn't make a lick of a difference now, 70 games into the season. Okay? Don't talk about making changes now. It's too late. Okay? You Making a change now, making a difference now, won't make a bit of difference. Because the result is going to be the same. You're going to get on a winning streak, and then you're going to have no momentum in the playoffs, and you're going to get roundhouse kicked by Boston or Carolina, if you even make the playoffs. This team don't deserve the playoffs. They just don't. They do not deserve the playoffs. And you know what? If it takes a couple years for this team to rebuild, if it takes a couple of drafts, like a three, four year rebuild for the Pens, so be it. I'm all for it. Just get better so we can really get back to that competitive drive that this franchise is known for. If it takes three years, so be it. If it takes four years, so be it. If it takes a decade, so be it. I want to see this team be taken seriously, and I want to see this team win. I've seen three Stanley Cups. I've been blessed to see this team win three Stanley Cups in four appearances in my lifetime. But what kind of fan would I be if I didn't cheer for them to keep on winning? It's a waste of time. And I know I'm going to get this in the comments. Oh, you're a spoiled Pens fan. Suck a dick, okay? I never denied that I was spoiled. You're damn right I'm spoiled. I've seen a lot of winning for this franchise. And when it inexplicably and so unnecessarily just takes a nosedive, yeah, I'm going to get vocal about it. So, yeah, I'm sorry I have a potty mouth. I'm sorry that... You know, I'm a meanie head, and then I'm critical of them. But you know what? I'm sick and tired of this inconsistent crap that the Pens put on the ice every freaking month. I'm tired of it, man. And I'm not even going to say do better. Because you got 12 games left. What good is that going to do? Anyway, 17 and a half minutes, that's about it. The Pens are just complete and utter garbage, man. This is Steel Sermon, checking on out for the night. May God be with you all.